Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 72 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. So yay for day 72. Uh, so today I thought was kind of interesting because I did read my scriptures and meditationals and then I was just, you know, praying to see what God wants me to know for today. And I was thinking, I just really need to make my health a priority. I need to take care of things um, for my health. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So um, I was like, okay, whatever. And I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it. I mean, I am trying to eat healthier and exercise and do things. So I was like, okay, this is a reminder that my body is a gift and I'm supposed to take care of it. And I need to find ways to do things to be healthier. So um, I, I was just thinking those things in my head. And then I ended up having a massage after work, which is a fantastic way to take care of my body, of course. And then I was talking to my massage therapist about things and she mentioned that she'd just done some training on how to um, clear out your lymph nodes and things like that to help your body flow and function better. And I was like, I want to do that. So <laughs> I, I scheduled another massage for a couple weeks out so that I can like do that because I thought that's a good thing for my body. That would be a healthy thing to just kind of clear out some toxins and other things that... Um, and I was like, yay, that's something that I think I need to do. So I did that. And then she also gave me the name of her doctor that she saw that helped her with her um, mal malabsorption issues and things like that. And how it's, she's like, she considers that he saved her life. So I'm like, yay. And I've tried messaging him and um, kind of playing, playing bone tag, trying to figure out like coordinate schedules and a time that I can get in to see him, but um, trying. So it just made me... Um, very grateful because I don't think I would have spoken up if I hadn't had that those thoughts this morning. In the morning, I was like, okay, so I'm having these thoughts, I'm doing this, that I need to take better care of my body. And then I go see my massage therapist and she's telling me all this stuff. And, and I told her I don't eat eggs because I just felt impressed that God doesn't want me to eat eggs. And she's like, oh, well, that's for a good reason because eggs can like are carriers for um, viruses and things like that, which... I didn't know. And I don't know how true that is. So please don't <laughs> like send me a whole bunch of messages and tell me I'm all wrong and start a big, huge, crazy conversation about that. Cause I don't know. Um, you can't tell me if I'm wrong. I just, that's what she was telling me. And I'm like, okay, still not going to do eggs. I figured it was just cause I have high cholesterol and it's probably not the best thing to be eating. And I'm trying to get my cholesterol down and I might go back to eating eggs once I get my blood work done in a couple of weeks and find out, um, if my cholesterol is down. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm going to try to stick to my diet though, because I know it's not really a diet. It's more of a lifestyle change because I am trying to eat healthier and be healthier. And I know that that's what God wants me to do to be happy. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very grateful for my massage therapist giving me information and ideas on how to do that and ways to do that and things that I didn't know and a direction in which to go to try to learn how to take better care of my body or figure out what's going on with my body so that I can be taking and eating the right foods because I don't want to be eating things that are making my problems worse. I would love to find out what I need to do to make my problems better. So um, that's where I'm at right now for today. So anyway, if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.